Hello, I'm David Sibley, and in this video I'm going to show you how I draw an owl. This is a screech owl, and there are two very similar species of screech owls found in open woods throughout much of the lower 48 states and Canada. Owls are unique among birds in having both eyes on the front of their head, which makes them a little trickier to draw, but it's still best to start with an oval shape for the body, and owls perch almost upright, so this oval is just tilted slightly to the side. The head is relatively large and wide, so a big wide oval balanced on top of the body. The wings make a long narrow oval extending out to the back, and the tail is short, just a little rectangle sticking out from under the wings. Now this is the tricky part. On that oval that you drew for the head, divide it in half with a very light vertical line and then draw a very light horizontal line a little bit above the midpoint of that oval. The eyes go on that horizontal line, a round circle for each eye, and make sure that they're symmetrical, each one the same distance from the center line. The bill is right on the center line, and a small diamond shape just below the eyes now, to draw the rest of the head, you begin with a line coming from the corner of that bill up to the eye, around the top of the eye, and then up again and out the top of the head. Do the same on the other side, around the eye, up and out the top of the head. Then draw the ear tufts. Owls have tufts of feathers that look like ears, but they're not. And those are big rounded triangles centered on those lines that come out the top of the head. Now we can smooth out the rest of the body, coming down the side, down the belly. The feather is more fluffy at the back end. The tail is a rectangle, a nice solid lower edge of the wing, and then at the bend of the wing the feathers overlap. Coming up the back, the rounded back, and uh, smoothing into the head, back up to the ear. Now we'll add a little more detail around the eyes, especially thickening the outline above and on the outside edge of each eye. You can add a little hint of a straight line angled down below the eye. The pupil there's a round black circle in the middle of each eye. Not quite in the middle, actually. Owls always look a little bit cross-eyed because the feathers overlap the inner edge of the eye, so the pupil looks like it's not quite centered. You can add a little more detail around the head and the feathers, extending, expanding that line up to the ear tuft, and the outer half of each ear tuft is dark. You can add that, uh, fill in that dark patch, and it's helpful to keep all the lines going in the direction of the feathers, sort of out and up in this case. You can add some small marks on the forehead to suggest the edge of the pale eyebrow, and the same for some dark streaks that radiate up from the bill to the top of the head. The face is outlined by a dark ring at the edge of the facial disc, which is modified feathers that help to channel sound into the ear. So draw a heavy black line coming down about as far as the bill and then angling in. Then a little extension down farther. And on this side, that line is shorter because the feathers are pressed up against the wing as the head is turned. Add a short little line for the mouth coming out of the corner of the bill, and then owls have a patch of feathers just below the bill that looks a little like a bow tie. So you can put in a few lines to suggest that. The outline of the actual back feathers, and then the wing coverts, which cover the front half of the wing. And the big flight feathers 
are straight lines going back to the tip of the wing and the primary coverts. And we can add a little shading on the underside of the body. And finally, add the feet. The bird is balanced over its feet, so imagine where the body would balance and put the feet right under that. Owls have short legs and relatively large feet and big talons. And we'll give it a little fence post to sit on. And there is a screech owl. Now you can continue your drawing, adding more details, or go back to the beginning and try another one. Have fun!